show you the different ways you can do these. You can do them obviously with one piece of fabric with a cool print on it. That's going to look great. The example we're going to do, I'm going to use a solid piece of fabric. This is another just solid, be super cute. And then this is an example of just taking it a step further. Instead of just cutting the template on a plain piece of fabric, I pieced these three pieces together so that it's gonna be a little bit more interesting, especially for the one to four year size, which is bigger. I think that's kind of fun, but it does obviously takes a little bit longer. So it is totally up to you how you wanna do that based on the fabrics that you have and how long you want to spend on this project. The first thing you need to do is make your template. So you're going to print the two pieces of paper, unless you're doing a newborn. I do have that, so it will print on one sheet of paper. But for the three to six months, six to 12, one to four years, you're going to print two pieces of paper. You're then going to measure and make sure that this square is one inch. That'll make sure this is all the correct size. Next, you're going to take scissors or a paper cutter and you're going to trim one of the pages along this line. You're not gonna trim both because this is gonna make, allow us to overlap the paper and it's gonna be easier to tape that together. So now I'm going to line everything up. I didn't get right on that line. So I'm just going to make sure this edge, this red line and these scissors look good. The scissors are really your best guide and then making sure that those work. Then you're just going to take some scotch tape or whatever kind of tape and tape down the center. You need to make sure it goes at least to here and here because the rest we're going to cut off. Then you can either cut your template apart now or you can cut it apart when you're putting it on the fabric. But since I like to, um, I, I don't like doing paper with my fabric scissors. I like paper scissors. I am just gonna quickly cut this out and I'm going to cut out the six month size. So you do wanna print this in color so that you can follow the color when you're cutting. Now I have my three to six month template and I've already made these three sizes. So I just have all four sizes that I can save for future projects. Now what you need is your fabric. So in the PDF where you get the template, I did give you an idea of the size of fabric that you're going to need to make each of these size bibs. So this is, you know, maybe a little bit bigger and I'm going to fold it in half. And if you're using a directional fabric, you want to make sure you have it where it's, it's facing towards the top. You don't want everything to be upside down on the baby. So now I'm going to pin this on here and cut that out. This time using my fabric scissors, which I mark to say fabric so that anyone that uses them for paper does at their own risk. Once that's cut out, I'm just going to remove the pins. And we're done with our template. So now we have the bib front. Now I like to use kitchen towels for the back of my bibs because they're nice and absorbent. So I'm going to show you how I set that up. This one has some texture to it. So I decided I wanted to go this way. So I'm turning it that way. And then I'm going to put this bib face down. I use the other half for a one to four years. So you can get easily get two, maybe three if you're doing the smaller sizes out of one kitchen towel. And I also love doing this because often if you get like a seasonal towel, maybe it'll have something embroidered on it. You can get them on clearance after the season. And since you're not going to use that anyway, it doesn't matter. So now I'm going to pin this right sides together all the way around. And I always sew the fabric onto the towel instead of cutting the towel and cutting the fabric because it's going to get a lot less lint into your sewing machine and the towel is not going to like stretch out or be an odd shape. So I always just 
do it the easy way. Pin this onto the towel and then we're going to take it to the sewing machine. Sew all the way around with a quarter inch seam, leaving a few inches along a straight edge for turning. I'm gonna sew all the way around the edge with a quarter inch seam, leaving a section open so that we can turn this after it's sewn together. Now that it is sewn onto the towel, we're going to take our fabric scissors, cut all the way around, and then we're going to clip the curves so that we can press it and have a nice shape to our baby bib. I usually just do a lot of single clips. You can do a triangle as well, totally up to you. Make sure you do not clip the sewing lines. And then because this area up here, it gets pretty small. I After I do the clip, the clipping the curves, I like to trim that in a little bit. So there's gonna be less fabric bulk in there when you turn. And this really does make a bit of a mess with the edge of the towel and the fabric. So you are going to need to clean your cutting mat if you do it over your mat like I am. So you don't get a bunch of lint on your next project that you might put down forgetting that you had towel stuff all over your workspace. Don't trim where it is open. And that is also why we did the opening along a straightaway. So it really doesn't need to be clipped to give you a good shape. Okay, so all of the curves are clipped. Now I'm just going to turn this right side out. I try to turn this as much just using my fingers instead of a turning tool because I don't want it to poke through the towel. So you do need to just kind of get your fingers in there and run them along, along the curves. And then you can just kind of do that to get your final shape looking good. And then where you turned it, you're just gonna make sure that when you press it, you get that folded under, both the towel and the fabric folded under and matched up. When I top stitch my bibs, I like to match my thread to my fabric so that it's not going to show. And then you're also going to need matching bobbin thread for when you uh, sew on your Velcro, unless you're gonna choose to use snaps. So for top stitching, I'm going to use the thread that matches the top and a bobbin that matches the towel. So I'm gonna go with green and white. The final step is to figure out your clasp. You could do a button, you could do a snap. I like to use Velcro because I just remember wrestling with my child to get these bibs off going around their head. I like it to be as simple as possible. Just remind whoever's going to use it to make sure they have it hooked together before they put these in the laundry. So I do like a half inch to an inch square. And if you're right-handed or the mom or dad are right-handed, you're gonna want the right side overlapping the left. So I put the soft part on the back of the right and I put the loop on the left. So before, we can sew the, the left side on while we still have the green on top, white on the bottom, so that the white is going to match the towel. Now you'll see because I used the white bobbin thread, you can't really see this on the back. So we're going to need to change both of our threads to put this part, the softer part, over here because we want it to be white so you're not seeing it there. And then we don't wanna see it out here because this is gonna be the top, so we need the bobbin green the regular thread white. Then I just cut the ends. And when you hook it together, it looks great. You can't see those stitch marks. That is how easy these bibs are to make. Now I have a set of four bibs from newborn to one to four years.